Acne is one of the most common skin conditions, affecting about 85% of adolescents. It is typically caused by a bacteria formerly known as Propionibacterium acnes. Acne is a complex condition in which hereditary factors, stress, allergens, and other factors all have a role in its development and or severity. Acne is more common in teenagers and young adults, but it can occur in adults as well. Acne comes in a variety of forms, including comedonal, inflammatory, and nodulocystic. Comedonal is the presence of black and white heads with no pimples or signs of inflammation. Inflammatory involves papules and pastules. Nodulocystic is when there is severe inflammation under the skin and can result in significant damage. Acne can be hormonal related, but most of the time it's not. Acne treatment is available to clear your skin and avoid scarring. It's best to seek assistance from a healthcare provider. Isotretinoin comes from a class of retinoids, which are a family related to vitamin A and exert the effects of vitamin A. Topical retinoids are the alternative treatments first prescribed to a patient before going on isotretinoin. These are applied directly on the skin, which exhibit similar mechanisms as isotretinoin, but have fewer side effects and they're less intense. In addition to topical retinoids, benzyl peroxide is also an antibiotic that can be used to clear up acne and can be combined with topical treatment. If acne still doesn't go away by using alternatives, your dermatologist will most likely suggest isotretinoin as the last resort. So how is it that taking one pill for about six months is one of the only ways in dermatology currently that can completely get rid of a full face of acne no matter how severe it is? To this day, the efficacy of isotretinoin has not been replaced by any other treatment, and over two decades later, isotretinoin remains the most clinically effective anti-acne therapy, producing long-term remission and significant improvement in many patients. The success rate of taking isotretinoin without needing to go back on other acne medications is about 85%. With all that being said, what exactly does the medication do that clears up the acne so well? Let's take one and see. You're at the doctor's office and you're just about to get a prescription for isotretinoin. The first thing you do is get a blood test to check your triglyceride and lipid levels, liver enzymes, and complete blood count. This is because cholesterol and triglycerides can temporarily increase when taking the drug. Now it's time to take your first pill. Over the next one to three weeks, the drug is going to decrease the size of the sebaceous glands in the skin. The sebaceous glands are responsible for creating sebum, the oil in skin that can clog your hair follicles and pores and cause acne. When the sebum is controlled, breakouts stop. So that means that your skin will get very dry and the oiliness will be gone. What's very common that you might notice is that your acne might initially get worse after starting isotretinoin therapy. The number of acne lesions usually does not increase, but the lesions may become redder or more painful. This is, this is normal, lasts only a short while, and is not a reason to stop using isotretinoin. This is because you may experience purging, which means that the drug will push out all dead skin cells, oil, and debris from underneath the skin, causing inflammation and more acne. But once that stage is over, you'll, you'll notice it starting to clear up in 1-3 to three months. And as the weeks go by, the doctor may slowly increase your dose to a stronger one. Not only do your sebaceous glands decrease in size, but any bacteria that has resided in the skin is killed off so that new pimples and cysts do not form. This is because isotretinoin has antimicrobial action against Propionibacterium acnes, as mentioned in the beginning of the video, which is vital if the strain has become resistant to conventional antibiotics. This stage happens four months into treatment. Lastly, isotretinoin continues to work for up to two months after your last intake, so your physician may stop your prescription without waiting for your skin to clear up completely. This helps you avoid unwanted side effects. Now, as with any kind of drug, isotretinoin also has its side effects. The reason why side effects occur is that no two people are the same, so the way the drug acts in one person may not be the same in another. Due to this reason, the severity of the side effects also change depending on the body type. When looking at isotretinoin, the side effects can be divided into the more common, less severe category, the less common, more severe category, or an allergic reaction to the drug. The more common, less severe side effects of isotretinoin may look like dry skin, dry mouth, dry nasal passages, dry lips, dry eyes, muscle aches, bone pain, skin irritation or itching, rash, thin hair, light headache, the less common, more severe side effects of isotretinoin may look like vomiting, blurred vision, nausea, severe headache. Now, GI disorders have been reported in the past, but recent studies suggest that they may not be as much linked to isotretinoin, but they're still mentioned to make the patient aware. So GI disorders such as Crohn's disease and inflammatory bowel disease, liver problems, tinnitus, 
blood sugar problems, increase in cholesterol levels. One major, major warning that all dermatologists emphasize is to not be pregnant before going on isotretinoin, as isotretinoin is known for causing serious birth defects if taken while pregnant. This is written very blatantly on all of the packaging and bolded because of how serious this rule should be taken. Another category of side effects to isotretinoin are allergic reactions. Allergic reactions to isotretinoin may look like anaphylaxis, which means you have breathing problems, face or mouth swelling, hives anywhere on the skin. Now, if you experience any of the side effects that look like you have had an allergic reaction to isotretinoin, please, please, please call 911 for the paramedics or go immediately to your nearest emergency department as it can be a life-threatening situation. If any of the other symptoms we discussed occur, please contact your doctor as soon as possible to discuss alternative treatments. Lastly, you may be wondering that I have been referred to take isotretinoin, but what are some kinds of questions I can ask my dermatologist? Well, we got you covered. So one of the questions could be, what are some skin and lip care products I can use while using isotretinoin to combat dryness? Another one could be, are there any recommended foods to eat or dietary changes I should make while taking the medication? Another one could be, how do I take care of my skin after using isotretinoin? And are there certain products I should avoid? And another possible one could be, do I need to be cautious of sun exposure while taking isotretinoin? Thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. We hope you learned a lot about isotretinoin and how it works. We totally understand that it can be pretty scary and daunting to go on isotretinoin because of the long list of side effects. But don't worry, your doctor will monitor your progress very, very closely and stop the treatment if there are any potential risks to you. Now let us tell you this, majority of the people who take it turn out to be just fine. By the time you finish the treatment and see the amazing results, you'd wish you did it sooner.